This is why you're not seeing deer. Your access sucks, plain and simple. Now, I'm not trying to step on your toes and you may not think that I'm qualified to tell you why you're not seeing deer, but I've hunted for a fair amount of years. I've seen a couple things. I've learned a couple things, especially over the last couple years because of this tree stand right here. Two years ago, my brother and I hung this stand because we knew that there were deer out in that field out there. So being the young inexperienced hunters that we were, we just assumed, hey, we can walk down this four wheeler path, climb up in this tree stand, deer are gonna come right to us. We're 30 yards in the field. It's gonna be great. We're gonna shoot some deer. Well, we were quite wrong because we have yet to shoot a deer out of this tree stand. Now here's why I believe we were not seeing deer. This tree stand sits right along a creek, right back here. On the other side of that creek is a doe bedding area. And I found that out because I kicked up a lot of deer walking out of that bedding area. Up above me, we have a hill with a lot of thick brush up top, a very low canopy. I mean, as you can see, it's super thick right here. And so these deer are bedding right up there at the top of the hill. And here's why they're bedding up there. The prevailing wind most of the time is coming out of the south, southwest, which is coming this way. So if a deer beds up there, puts a bunch of cover behind him, he can smell what's behind him, but he can look down this hill and see what's below him. So when a deer beds up there, when he's got the wind in his back and he can see below him, he's protected all the way around and he's aware of all the dangers around him. Another reason he'll bed up there is because he's about 50, 60 yards from food, water, doe bedding right over there, doe bedding down in that area, and doe bedding on the top side of that hill. You're probably thinking, why do I care? What does it have to do with me? Well, since that stand was right there, in between all of this chaos, our access was terrible, plain and simple. The reason being, as I'm walking down this four-wheeler trail to my tree stand right up there, I'm kicking the doe up out of this bedding area, bumping the pressure way up. Those doe know that I'm here now, and they ain't, they ain't coming back tonight or next day. Who knows? They just ain't coming back. I ain't gonna see him. There's Buck bedding up on that hill up there. So as I'm walking down this trail, all la di da trying to be sneaky, those bucks are up there just looking at me like this moron. I can see him. He's walking right in front of me. As I climb up that tree, when I get to the top of that tree, I'm about eye level with the bucks bedding up there. There are some big bucks around here, okay? But there's also a ton of hunting pressure. Put two and two together, those bucks have to be really smart to get that old and get that big around here. So I ain't dealing with no stupid deer. These things are smart and I gotta be smarter than them. Walking down this path and climbing up that tree right in front of their eyes is not gonna get me a 150 inch buck on the ground. Believe me, I've tried, it didn't work. Let me tell you a story. Last hunting season, I was hunting up on that ridge. There's a tree stand up there, which I can see down into that field. You wanna know what happened? Around four o'clock at night, I was sitting up in that tree stand. I look out into that field, which is about 80 yards from that stand. There was a monster 150 inch buck just standing right out in there. Coincidence? I think not. I think the only reason that buck was out there in that field was because I was not in that tree stand. I got a trail camera right on this tree. I got countless pictures of big old bucks walking down this trail and going up that way. And I never put two and two together that maybe they just are bedding right up there on that hill and they see me every time I walk into this tree stand. I'm pretty stupid, right? Probably what you're thinking. Well, now maybe you know the importance of access. And I hope that you guys really actually think about this. And I want to give a shout out to Seek One and their podcast because they're the ones that were talking about this. And they definitely know because, you know, they're hunting in those urban areas. And it's very hard to get into a one acre block of woods where a huge buck is bedding and try to shoot him without him knowing that you're there and they're the ones that opened up my eyes to like hey jake you need to you really need to th think about your access as i look at all my tree stand locations i'm really thinking about access bedding areas food sources doe bedding where these deer are traveling i run cameras all the time i know this woods like the back of my hand i can do a better job at creating better access and overall just having more successful hunts because last year, if you watch the hunting videos, you know that it was quite a struggle. We were really riding the struggle bus last year. So all I'm saying, guys, is use your heads. Just try to be smart. Because these big bucks, they get big because they're smart. And you got to try to outsmart them. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something in this video. Hopefully I can help you out. Maybe I stepped on your toes and ticked you off a little bit. But I'm just trying to help you. I know I may only be 19 years old, but I learned a lot in the last two years just from that tree stand. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.